guys! So today I'm going to show you a few DIYs inspired by Brandy Melville. Most of these DIY are so easy and you most likely have some of the materials at home, meaning that it's very inexpensive. Let's go ahead and get started with our halter top. First, you need a very tight fitted shirt, one that will pop your boob out basically. For me, I'm going to go two inches underneath my armpit and basically from there, I'm just going to angle it off on the front. And it doesn't have to be perfect at the first initial cut. Just know that you can always cut more later. And then I folded the shirt in half just so I get an even cut and I don't have to fix it later on. After your shirt looks something like this, flip it to the other side and you're basically just going to snip the back off. Make sure you fix any edges on the sides especially just so it looks better or neater. And for me, I'm going to make this crop. I cut about 6 inches off the bottom, but you can definitely cut more or less depending on your own preference. Remember to save that fabric because you're going to cut a little strip off of this. And make sure the strap is long enough so you can tie it over your neck. So after I have cut it out this strip, I cut it in half again. I went ahead and I sewed one of the strap onto the side of the front. You can definitely use fabric glue, but honestly, if anything fails, good luck. <laughs> Afterwards, you're going to hem this and because I was really lazy, I went ahead and used fabric glue for this part So fabric glue it is And in case you're wondering fabric glue holds itself pretty well as long as you're not vigorously washing your shirt It will hold on so don't worry about that and make sure you glue any raw edges you have And that's basically it for the shirt so moving on to the hanger, if you guys don't know, I have a pretty plaid obsession. Get it? Get it? Plaid obsession? Okay, that was bad. I love these chambray shirts, these plaid shirts. However, finding a hanger for it, it's not that great because I always have to button it. So this DIY is so great because it offers a really nice grip to your clothing. And it's very, very extremely easy to make. And it's so inexpensive as well. So. First of all, you'll need to cut out strips of fabric. But any kind of color design is really up to you. I went ahead and used white and this kind of like vintage floral that I thrifted. And you will need a hanger, a wire hanger. You can either start this project by glue or like me, like a very tight knot. I'm going to move it to the front or the tip of the hanger and basically just start wrapping around the knot as tightly as I possibly can. Like I said, you can definitely use hot glue gun to start off this. It's going to be a lot more convenient. This way works too. So even if you do not have a hot glue gun, you can still do this DIY. This is a pretty tedious job, I'm not gonna lie. Just keep on wrapping that hanger. Once you have reached the middle of your hanger, you're just going to make like a 180, is a 180? And just start wrapping it. After you have run out of fabric, what I'll do is I will attach another strip of fabric like so and again just wrap it as tightly as I can hiding any of the excess fabric. Again, like I said, you can definitely use hot glue gun to glue this so it's a lot more secure. Once I've reached the end, I'm just going to snip off some of the excess and again, you can just glue it. However, I just basically went ahead and added another piece of fabric like so and I basically just tied a ribbon doing my best to hide the excess little piece of fabric. And the real Brandy Melville hangers, they do actually add a little ribbon to it. So it kind of looks like the real deal, right? You can just snip off some of the excess and this hanger is basically good to go. Moving on to the too sassy for you sign. All you need to do is just get a wooden board or any type of board or poster board. Anything that's hard enough for you and paint it with a color for choice. I got this board from Michaels for about like 90 cents so it's pretty inexpensive. And if you were wondering how I got all these clumps it's because the acrylic paint that I'm using is actually very old. So I actually tried my best to scrape off all those excess clumps. Doing my best here to save money, right? Budgeting, okay? Budget. 
Next thing you'll need are some aluminum wires and you can get this from Home Depot, Michaels, any kind of craft store and it's very inexpensive. But basically I'm just cutting off two inch strips of wire. After you've got a pretty decent amount of those two inch strips, you need something round or curved. And basically you're just going to press both ends of the wire so you kind of create this coarse hoof kind of shape or half circle. After a while, it will kind of hurt your fingers, but you're not going to die. With those horse hooves, or half circles, I'm just going to glue them onto the side of the board, making sure not a lot of the wire peek through. I'm going to use the good old scotch tape to tape it down. Yes, you may be wondering, what? Scotch tape? Yes, it actually does work. If you don't feel like this is secure enough, you can use hot glue gun or super glue E6000. I'm just hanging this on my wall. I'm not gonna do anything vigorous with this, so scotch tape is good enough. And keep in mind you can paint the wires with another color to make the board pop even more. So after you have glued or taped all the border, you're just going to practice what you learn in third grade, which is cursive. I don't know, did you guys learn cursive in third grade? I learned it in third grade, and I totally rocked it, but now it's like, ugh. I'm just going to use a pen and just kind of sketch it out. And yes, if you can tell, I messed up quite a bit. I tried my best and I think that's all that matters. But basically, to make the letters pop, I am going to use a little bit of black acrylic paint and just painting that. By the way, did you guys know that my oldest sister's nickname is Sassy? So, hey Sassy, if you're watching this, what's up? That's basically it for these three easy Brandy Melville inspired DIYs. If you like this, please click the subscribe button and like button. Let me know which one you like the most. For me, it's probably the board. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so, so, so much for watching. Like always, until next time, bye. Music, especially during study hall or when sometimes some teachers are nice, they let you listen to music. So carry your headphones too. And yes, this is me blasting all the dance moves that I know.